loud sounds? Like? I know what a GT40 sounds like, yeah, but the yeah. general public doesn't. So where'd you get this GT40 sound? Well, we got it from a GT40, and it wasn't easy because GT40s are multi-million dollar cars. But we did find one. A collector had one in Ohio, so we, we tracked it down, and we got the recordings. So why was it so hard to get a GT40 sound? I mean, what, guys wouldn't want to let you borrow their cars or something? Well, I mean, my $25 million car stays in the driveway <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> uh, so I don't usually let the film crews go out and take it up to 225 uh, you know, miles per hour. So did you guys do actual track recordings like on, like on the, with a camera car or something like that? Steve? Yeah, yeah well, uh, on set we were mostly focused on the, the performance and the actors because I knew these guys would, would uh, crush it in post and get all the sound effects because the, the cars that we had on set were more uh, picture cars with modern engines so they didn't break down every, you know, every day while we were filming. So it was up to these guys in post to, to grab all that. The tires were different in the 60s as well, so did you have to get old Pirellis or old tires to get that exact sound too? Um, they, no, we, we had tire recordings that we took and manipulated, but... Well, we not didn't. cartoon ones, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> only if needed. <laughs> no. no. Okay, so we, did, we got GT40 sound, tire skid marks. What other kind of sounds did you guys have to replicate to make it cool for Ford vs. Ferrari? Um, well, certainly mu musically, we had to get a lot of different sounds from the era, like you know, jazz and uh, and and um, score that went through a lot of different genres, um, and that was my side of things, the dialogue and the music. So these guys dealt with all the effects. Cool. 